Oh my gosh, Resendai! Hello and welcome to Mass Effect Andromeda. Is that how you pronounce the name of that galaxy? I haven't been there. I haven't asked any locals, what am I saying? Let's play a game. Yeah. I played the original Mass Effect trilogy, not all of the DLC for the last one, I don't think. It's certainly not the one that uh, made the ending uh, less fascinating, from what I gather. Alright, we are initializing. There's unnecessary film grain, I forgot to disable that. That's alright. Let's customize my appearance. There are different head options, I guess. Then I can just go custom, right? Excellent. Well, I'm going to have to see if I can make myself. Assuming I understand how to make myself. It's not moldy. That's fine. Alright. I think this is what we're going with. Uh, this really weird fl flat colored hair. It wasn't there in the length that I have my hair at. And but the beard is approximately appropriate in the nature of the mess that is my beard not quite no it just doesn't have the length for it oh well all right time to choose training security is during your alliance military serving you focus and learn everything you could about weapons and tactics there's also biotic Designated Biotic, Throw, Singularity, Barrier, Technician, Leader, Scrapper, and Operative. Which one is the Vanguard? <laughs> of course, it's entirely possible that things are just different. Ask yourself. Like a comet at opponents and degrading a portion of your shields on impact. No, start that that certainly starts sounds like what we're after oh and now we have to customize our twins twinsy apparently i have a sister now who doesn't look a lot like me apparently has gotten even less sun than i have which is strange what does this give us the shepherd was a woman yeah of course she was Alright, confirm and start the game. I spent a good amount of time in character customization right now, so... <sighs> good luck to me! Where are you exporting it into? Other than the... Origin, maybe? Of China cinematic. Every great moment in our history began with a dream. Each bold leap forward was achieved by those willing to do anything to attain it. We are all of us leaving behind families, homes, the very birthplace of our species. Some for discovery, to see the unknown, others for a new start. But today, whatever our reasons, we take the first steps toward a new future for humanity. Today, we begin to make our dream reality.
I could have read it all, all out since it was just text. There was, I've, yeah, I could have done that. I didn't know at all because I was very, very focused. I'm reading. Not out loud. That's a nice ship. How much? Are we looking at to wake up now? How long was I out? years rider scott recon specialist pathfinder mission team pathfinder team all oh, right i did get to bring you home can you make it somewhere tropical nice warm ocean summer year round how about we get him a cup of coffee first of course they have their own names they are established characters just a good uh customize them that's fun Now he kind of reminds me of the of Long Chong Silver from Black Sails. After discovering an unusually high ratio of potential candidates for Golden Worlds, the Helios Cluster was selected as our destination. Now you are a part of the first wave of Arcs arriving in Andromeda, our new home for humanity. Makes it sound so easy, doesn't it? Yeah, easy isn't fun. I hope not. I signed up for a little adventure before we settled down. Well, buckle up. Sounds like you'll get your wish. Yeah. Over here now, the Pathfinder wants you all on your feet right away. He said mission ready within the hour. Any idea why? No, but I'm guessing that's where your adventure comes in. Okay, everything checks out. Just one more thing before I send you on your way. Let's test your SAM implant. Sam, are you monitoring? Sam, are you online? Yes, Dr. Tapero. Good morning, Ryder. Are you feeling well? My implant? Uh, I just need a second to get my bearings. What's this about my implant? A routine check. After being in stasis, we want to make sure the connection's still live. As the team's mission computer, your well-being is my primary concern. Assuming the implants work as advertised, Sam sees what you see, in theory. We won't know for sure until we get you in the field. How are you feeling, otherwise? I feel like a 600-year-old popsicle. I hope we packed more coffee. Readings confirmed. Based on the levels of adenosine in your system, the neural implant is functioning properly. Wait, adeno what? It just means you're still shaking off your nap. No reason why we can't get you on your way. Though you may want to hang around while we revive your sister, it always helps to see a familiar face. I don't like the sound of that. But nothing can be easy, can it? looking at this is Cora I'm at the cryo bay brace for a reset everyone okay 
I think so. What happened? We're not sure. Sensors are scrambled. But it's good to see you're up. It feels like centuries since we spoke. This is the Pathfinder. Mission teams continue preparations. Cora, Riders, report to the bridge. You heard him. Let's get... Uh, we have a problem over here. It's Sarah Ryder. What? What's wrong? I don't know. Have to check it out. Well, it looks like some sort of power surge hit the station pod. Are they okay? I'm running a diagnostic now. Remedy, give it a second. It's the processor or something. Did the seals break? Please report it for no. Why is my mouse cursor there? Can I just whoop? There we go. Now it's gone. Well, Scott, is my sister okay? Sarah's fine. Her vitals are strong, but the revival procedure was interrupted. When can she wake up? We don't want to rush it. Sam, my connection to Sarah's implant was suspended. However, her pulse, respiration, and brain activity are all normal. To be on the safe side, we'll need to keep her in a low-level coma for a while, then let her body regain consciousness naturally. She'll be fine. Glad to hear it. Thanks, Lexi. Keep us updated. Ryder, I'll wait for you at the door, whenever you're ready to go. What's this information more about? Hi there. I'm Jean Garson, founder of the Andromeda Initiative. I'm here to welcome you to a whole new galaxy. The good news is, the hard part's over. We're here. If you have any questions now, just ask. At the other box? Your current location is Ark Hyperion, housing the human population. Ark Barcherum, the Salarian vessel, confirmed departure in 2185. The Asari ship, Ark Lucinia, confirmed departure that same year, as did the Turian Ark Natanis, embarking in 2185. Our destination? The selection process saw the Andromeda Initiative evaluate thousands of potential habitable planets within the galaxy. After discovering an unusually high ratio of potential candidates for Golden Worlds, the Helios Cluster was selected as our destination. Now you are a part of the first wave of ARCs arriving in Andromeda, our new home for humanity. Once the Pathfinder team's assessment is complete, Habitat 7 has been selected as the most likely candidate for colonization. And what about these Pathfinders? The Pathfinder is responsible for exploring and assessing new worlds for outpost placement and settlement. Each arc is led by a Pathfinder who represents their species. The active duty Pathfinder assigned to Arc Hyperion is Alec Ryder. Current duty roster shows you are assigned to the Pathfinder mission team, Specialist Ryder. Alright, Andromeda Initiative. The Andromeda Initiative encompasses all colonization efforts, including arcs, pathfinders, outposts, and the central support hub, the Nexus. The current location of the Nexus is unknown. Status of outposts are unknown. I'm Jean Garson, founder of the initiative. I think it's important we take a moment to reflect on the principles that brought all of us together. It started with a vision of a better future. A vision that you shape. Life in Andromeda can be anything we dare to dream. And I'm proud to help make those dreams come true. Drop me a note sometime. I'd love to hear how we're doing. Cool, and mission status? At present, Ark Hyperion has arrived in the Helios Cluster. Further mission updates are offline due to technical difficulties. As recon specialist, you are tasked with supporting the authentication of Golden World sites through exploration, mapping, and scientific analysis. Currently, you are to report for duty on the command bridge. I have time for that. Log off. Alright, information wall does information things. Who is this crab pod? Still in stasis. Vitals look good. Hi. It sounds amazing, doesn't it? Right up until you lose gravity. Yeah, that, that could have gone smoother. I think I spilled my coffee. Attention Hyperion personnel, after a 600 year voyage, the good news is we're exactly where we're supposed to be. We have arrived in the Helios Cluster Andromeda Galaxy, year 2819. All Stasis Medical personnel should report for duty immediately, give the Pathfinder Mission Team revival priority, 
and prepped its members for field reconnaissance. Reports of an unusual celestial phenomenon in the cluster are being an investigated. Updates to follow, Captain Don. Sounds pretty much pretty done. Hey, Fisher. Morning, Ryder. Or afternoon. Or I don't know. This is broken. Hello, trailer, and welcome to your first day in Andromeda. This is the dawn of a new era for all of us. As you recall from Stasis, know that you are in good hands. Which are attached to wrists, I reckon. In a few short hours, you'll be leaving the Hyperion and joining thousands of your follow fellow colonists as you chase your fortunes and built a new life you've always been dreamed about been dreaming about it's been a long wait but i promise you it will be worth it shine carson founder and ramada initiative i can't read or should i say that i can read but i'm not sure which one is less correct how are you doing another colonist here this is another colonist here just colonists? I probably don't need to be in this part of the ship right now, do I? No, they probably claim to be waiting for me. So I should probably go see the captain and Cora and all that. All that jazz. Hey Costa, how are you doing? Hey there. Hell of a wake up call, huh? Didn't expect that first thing out of stasis. You? Enjoy your nap, Ryder? Don't think I'll need sleep for the rest of my life. Maybe another decade or two wouldn't have hurt. I feel that's relatable. Just sleeping for another few decades. Good to see you, Ryder. Sorry, still waiting for some coffee. Did they put the coffee in cry sleep as well? That's a bad show. Coffee doesn't need to sleep. Coffee is anti sleep. Oh, don't give us malfunctions. We don't need any malfunctions. From a temperature spike. Found it! Bad relay. Ryder, can you go reset it? How do I reset it? I'm just supposed to go up here and use the terminal? There, it's reset! It's working! Thank God. That could have been the end of everyone in the cryo bay. I just saved tens of thousands of lives. Now we can get to the tram. It's a tram? But can't we take the train? Or a bus? How about an Uber? Is there an Uber service on the Ark? That was close. We're barely in Andromeda and we're already stranded. Automated logs, departure, blah 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 blah, conditions, errors. The adventure begins. I'm not sure your dad will see it that way. Go ahead and take us to the bridge. No, no, we have a dad. Do we need a dad? Uh, this tram looks very familiar. I've seen enough of uh, Resident Evil to, uh, to know where this is going. Or maybe I haven't. I probably haven't. Helm control, report. We're drifting. Flight controls aren't responding. First priority is stopping these outages. Mainline power's been knocked out. We're on reserves, Captain. They won't last. What is the whipping? What's our position? Unknown. We lost telemetry. Sam, we need eyes out there. Attempting to adjust sensor array. That sort of looks like Alan my grandfather, so uh, that's fair. Finder, but this is my ship. Captain, the protocol's clear. In the absence of communication with the Nexus or the other arcs, we proceed to our appointed golden world. Solid ground. If it's even out there. Nobody said anything about running into an energy cloud. And that's just a wild guess what we hit. Ooh. 
Alec I need to assess the damage. Stop the bleeding. We've got 20,000 people asleep on this ship. Let's give them a chance to wake up. Can you blame her? She is the captain. I think she gets the final word. Well, he might. This isn't about having the final word. Yes, sir. We're coming through. My God. Is that our golden world? That's Habitat 7. New Earth, if we're lucky. All of our long-range scans told us it was in the green zone. Perfect for human settlement. It doesn't even look the same. We don't know how bad it is yet. Still seems like it's our best shot. Maybe. There's just a lot on the line. Sam? The energy from the phenomenon is dumping our sensors. Planetary conditions are unknown. A lot can happen in 600 years. We're maroon. 20,000 souls adrift at sea. And when the power runs out and stays out, we need to know if that's safe harbor. And if it's not? As Pathfinder, it'll be my job to find an alternative. It's what we trained for. But if this goes well, we are already home. All right, just make it quick. Harper, the rest of the team should be awake by now. Have them spin up two shuttles. Planet Fallen 30. Yes, sir. A stubborn one, isn't he? Your guess is as good as mine. We may be related, but I still haven't figured him out. Just as long as he knows what he's doing. It's not like the cavalry's coming to save the day. I need an ETA on our sensor repairs. We're blind out here. The Salarians will save us all. So that... That mess of whatever it is looks really bad. Yeah. My sister's gonna hate that she missed this. Are all the riders adrenaline junkies? I guess it's in her blood. She beat me into the world by one minute. Couldn't wait to get started. Well, don't worry. I'm sure Sarah will pull through. When she does, she's gonna want stories. So, let's get out there and find her some. Right, you'll want to get your helmet. And maybe stop at the good luck rock before we go. The what? It's an old superstition of your dad's. I'm just gonna look at the status pad instead. As a member of the Pathfinder team, you play a critical role. Sorry, I had to pause there because of the show. In the Andromeda Initiative's efforts to establish a foothold in the new galaxy. The team faces many challenges, Golden World site verification, reconnaissance and mapping of unknown territories, planetary and celestial, scientific analysis and discovery of new phenomenon, a potential first contact with extraterrestrials, Establishing diplomatic uh, relations with local inhabitants, general support of settlement outposts. I recommend that we do not do what America did. In the event any member of the Pathfinder team encounters intelligent alien life, it is imperative that first contact protocols be strictly observed. The Andromeda Initiative holds the principles of peace and cooperation among our highest ideals. Aggressive action against the extraterrestrials is only permitted. When hostile intent is clearly demonstrated and Pathfinder team members are at obvious risk of injury and death. Good. Let's grab a helmet. Got it. That should do it. The Pathfinder is now requiring sidearms. I've opened the armaments locker. We expecting trouble, Sam? A precaution. Please arm yourself, Ryder. Hello, friends. Hey, Ryder. It's Kirkland, right? Yeah. I think we met just before the Hyperion left Earth. Not sure if you know Greer. Hi there. Your dad say anything about what's going on? Planet Fallen 30. It was all business. Told us to prep and be ready to go. Short and sweet, huh? Will do. See you guys in the ride down. Alright. Do I have to grab a gun? Hope I won't need this. You never know. Now let's get to the shuttle. 
This is yeah. This is one we already read. Yeah. Cool, cool. That we already read as well. That's Papa's. Looks like Dad's already suited up. And that's sisters. Hang in there, Sarah. And that's a water cooler. Oh yeah. You better not. No bathroom breaks in this trip. Oh, <laughs> fair enough. Ryder. Hey Fisher, how's it going? I heard a rumor from the bridge that your dad and the captain aren't seeing eye to eye on this. Don't believe rumors. I don't know what that's about. <laughs> okay then. I'll just pretend I didn't hear that you took Dunn's side. More rumors. Maybe, but I figure at the end of the day, the Pathfinder team answers to the Pathfinder. Besides, your dad's the N7 here. He's got the best aim. I go wherever he goes. That's fair enough. Like, I don't think there's gonna be any. Good luck, Rock. Huh? Your dad was mountain climbing back on Earth. It caught him from falling. The way things are going today, we'll need any luck we can get. Hey. Yeah. So, it, our father just took a rock off an Earth mountain. Because of reasons. That sounds legit. Dr. Carlyle, with everything going on, I think the Ark needs you more than we do. Pathfinder wants a medic on hand. And if that is home down there, I'm happy to knock on the door. If it's what we hope it is, it'll be one for the history books. You got a quote ready? One small step. I'm pretty sure your dad will handle that honor. All right, team, button it up. We leave in five. Sir, we broke out the weapons as requested. Anything we should know about? Seem prudent given the situation. We'll be short-handed with Sarah out. I heard what happened. Your sister's strong. She'll make it. We bet on whose boots would hit the ground first. This isn't how I wanted to win. <laughs> well, knowing Sarah, she'll want to go double or nothing on who climbs the tallest mountain. Don't let it get you down. I need you sharp. I understand. Your mom would have been proud. Both of you. Okay, team, listen up. I chose each of you for the Pathfinder team, not just because you're talented and passionate, but because you're dreamers, like me. We dream of exploring the unknown, of finding the edge of the map, and then discovering what lies beyond. When people look back on this, and they will, they'll remember we didn't give up, that we kept dreaming. That our first few faltering steps in Andromeda were the beginning of everything they know. We only get one chance to be first. So, let's go make history. I've been waiting 600 years for this. Are they just going to make those jokes forever because of the 600 year nap? Is that what they're doing? Because in their shoes, I would be 100% the same. Hell, I'd probably be a lot more obnoxious about it. It appears to be an unstable mass of dark energy. If you say so, steer clear of it. Gravity anomaly is detected. Well, I hope the plant's not dead. Go ahead. <laughs> 
Looks Here warm. Don't crash us. Shuttle two, are you seeing this? Copy that. Doesn't look like a golden world from here. Ionizing level rising. Stay on course to the landing zone. Oxygen levels are below minimum human requirements. Is this the right planet? We have this all worked out. Keep it tight, shuttle two. Uh the mountains are floating. The mountains are floating. Is that why he introduced himself, so we would be more affected uh, by him falling out? No, oh, is this that uh, one uh, stage row mission? So it's possible that Liam isn't dead either. Oh. Advanced technology is useful. Look at the tentacle plants. I love them. I shall call them tentacle plants. I will take one home and I will keep it. I also love how the helmet sort of stopped out the blur there. I'm not sure if that's on purpose. Or this just right. alpha mapping Come thing, in. but alpha mapping often does. Hyperion, Sam, anyone there? <sighs> Save your breath, Ryder. Sam's offline. Comlink's trashed. I'm surprised we aren't too. Did we really do that? Or are we dead and don't know it? Well, we found hell. I can tell you that much. Yeah. No way this is home. Looks like we're gonna find some high ground. See if anyone else is alive. Come on. I mean, I would love to live here. Can I have right. my house on top of that one? I've seen my share of troubles. Oh, yeah, I got, I, crazy, I got, I got, I got, I got. Well, crazy just found us. Those rocks out there are floating. Terra incognita. Can I have a house on one of those rocks? Some of these plants look like tentacles. I really want the house on one of those rocks. Oh well. I think I'll call the first episode here. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time when we start actually exploring this new place. Those the skies are blue. Who could survive in a place like this? Not sure we want to find out. I think it's Bob. <laughs>